Hey everybody and welcome back to another Max Velocity weather forecast and in today's forecast we'll be breaking down some good news for once we have a big cool down that'll be coming to the United States over the next several days it'll bring much cooler weather to a large chunk of the United States we'll also be breaking down the threat of a severe weather outbreak today across parts of the United States I'll give you the latest breakdown on everything that you need to know in this forecast but let's first begin with what's happening across the United States today. We'll first begin with the Northern Plains, and that is where we'll be watching for the threat of a severe weather outbreak later today. There are some showers and a little bit of storm activity back up in the Dakotas. Nothing too crazy so far today, but there will be an increased risk of severe weather as we head into the late afternoon and evening hours with all modes of severe weather being possible, including large hail, damaging winds, and tornadoes. And we'll break down more on this here in just a little while. Back down to the south and east, a little bit of convection down closer to areas like the mid-Atlantic region, but overall, not looking too bad obviously in the northeast as well we just had severe weather there yesterday there is a trough back up in canada that is sitting up into the northeast of new england and that is not really bringing much of anything other than a few little spotty showers and at least some cloud cover to parts of northern new england but overall i'm not gonna lie it's very calm here across the united states one of the calmer days that we've seen so far in the past couple weeks but obviously it's not gonna stay that way because because we do have that threat for severe weather later today and again we'll talk about more on that here in just a moment but let's talk more about the weather pattern that's coming to the United States this upcoming week and as well as the following week because to begin August honestly there is some good news in sight for part of the United States meanwhile another part of the United States will be dealing with a massive and extensive heat wave so let me kind of break that down for you here beginning with the jet stream and this is what controls the weather patterns in the United States and as of right now we do have that massive heat dome that is still sitting in the southern and central plains and back down in the four corner states I know I've mentioned this every single forecast for the past 30 days because this thing has not moved this is not really usual that we see a heat dome sitting here like literally all summer long. It's basically not moved at all for the past several weeks. Now, in addition to that, the jet stream's lifted further back out to the north, which extends from the west coast all the way back through the northeast. And then we have that massive trough I was just mentioning on the infrared imagery that's back up into Canada. And this will not be really impacting the United States at all over the next few days. It is going to start to move away. Now, once we go into the midweek, notice where this heat dome goes by Tuesday. We'll have that high pressure system down in the southern plains. That means the heat will get even warmer worse if you're back down in Texas and Oklahoma with many areas getting close to challenging record high temperatures. Meanwhile, the jet stream dips back up into the northeast, allowing for cooler weather to enter into parts of the northeast. So that's part one of this cool down. There will be another part to this later this week for a much larger chunk of the country. And then we'll also have to watch a trough start to eject out of the basically southwest Canada. And this will also bring the risk maybe for some severe storms by the later half of the week, possibly closer to Thursday and to Friday. And as this moves off to the east southeast it might impact parts of the midwest and maybe even parts of the ohio valley so we'll be watching that very closely once we get closer to thursday you'll see again that trough start to move to the east strong upper level winds does promote that threat for maybe some severe weather and along with the lower level winds being a bit stronger there's definitely gonna be a threat for severe weather sometime around wednesday thursday or friday for parts of the upper midwest and perhaps the ohio valley and then eventually maybe into the northeast so that'll be something to watch for high pressure systems still sitting in the southern plains even closer to the gulf coast which will again impact the heat it'll continue to make relentless heat on go for a large chunk of the united states and then eventually going closer to the weekend the jet stream actually will start to weaken a bit and it will also open up the opportunity for some cooler weather that'll start to dip down into parts of the central and northern plains the midwest and perhaps the ohio valley and mid-atlantic regions which could end up actually going even further south than this but as of right now there is expected to be a cool down going into the second week of august if not even possibly the later half of the first week of august for much of the united states states now what does this look like on the temperature anomalies well once we go throughout this weekend into early next week again warmer temperatures expected for a large chunk of the country this is the cool down i was mentioning before if you're back over in the northeast once we get closer to thursday into friday that heat does continue across the midwest central and southern plains and eventually by the weekend notice there will be some layers of cooler weather which could lead to some below average temperatures in some areas and then once we get into next week so not this week but the following week there will likely be a stronger cool down that'll come out of canada promoting the potential for temperatures as low as the 60s and 50s for low temperatures in parts of the midwest and even maybe the northern plains so definitely some cooler weather is ahead especially for august definitely going to take this without a doubt with all the heat that we've been seeing recently and here's what the climate prediction center is thinking for the second week of august so this is from next sunday on august 6th till august 12th and currently the climate prediction center is expecting below average temperatures for much of the northern and central plains back through the midwest and the ohio valley it is more likely than not there will be below average temperatures and then back near 
through the Gulf Coast, Texas, all the way back through the West Coast, above average temperatures are likely in those areas. Unfortunately, not really much of a break is coming at all at this point. If you're in the Northeast, I do have some good news for you. Look at this on Tuesday morning. Low temperatures will be as low as the upper 40s in some areas. So it'll be getting definitely cooler there because of that cool down. And then notice going into next Saturday, this is the current forecast at high temperatures. Many areas in the Midwest and the Northeast going to drop down into possibly as low as the 70s for high temperatures and maybe some low 80s as well. So near, if not just a little bit below average for some areas, it will cool down more as we go again into the second week of August. And then here are your low temperatures going into Saturday morning. Again, this will be on August 5th. Right now, the low temperatures, possibly even in the upper Midwest near the Michigan Peninsula, we could see some areas drop into the 40s for low temperatures. So it could get a little bit chilly over there, which again is not overly typical for this time of the year, but definitely some nice weather there for sure. All right, here's the severe weather potential for today. There is currently an enhanced risk of severe weather. That does include parts of South Dakota as well as Northeast Wyoming, and then a slight risk that goes from Nebraska back through Montana. Main concern for today is large to very large hail. We could see some hailstones go as high as the size of apples that is three inches in diameter so significant hail there today make sure you're protecting your vehicle damaging wind threat right now 30 percent probability near areas in southwest south dakota definitely gonna be a threat for some damaging winds up to 75 miles per hour tornado risk today is very low i wouldn't rely on an isolated tornado but overall i'm not too concerned about it just make sure you have multiple ways to receive alerts and have that tornado action plan in place just in case there are any tornado warnings and here's your severe weather timing for today this afternoon will be fairly dry across many of these areas there might be an isolated storm that pops up, but overall, the severe weather potential out of any of that will be non-severe for the most part. Once we get closer to about 6 o'clock or so, there will be more storm activity that starts to form. We'll be watching multiple different clusters of storms, and as these move to the east, they'll have a better chance of producing damaging winds, but initially, large to very large hill will definitely be a concern. By around 8, 9 o'clock tonight, those clusters move to the east. Again, mainly damaging winds out of those, but some large hail possible. And eventually, by the overnight hours, those storms move to the east, and a lot of this becomes rain, could be a low-end threat for flash flooding but i'm not too too concerned about that as of right now and then going into monday this could potentially be our first july day this month without a slight risk of severe weather and that would be the first day this month which by the way this is the last day of the month is tomorrow we do have a marginal threat of severe weather as of right now in the northern plains main concern will be isolated damaging winds and hail at this point though i would not be surprised if this does get upgraded to a slight risk just with how things have gone this month this would be the last day of the month though in terms of that risk and then going into tossing trampolines on tacos tuesday no risk of severe weather right now great news there and then also here's your rainfall totals expected through the first week of august big hole in the texas region but elsewhere there's a good chance of rain for the rest of the united states excluding the west coast and maybe perhaps parts of the midwest thank you so much for watching make sure to hit the like button down below and subscribe if you've not already